Hi, sweet kiddos. It's Mrs. Harbert, also known as Old Mother Harbert. I hope you guys are doing good. We just read our story about the very grouchy ladybug. I thought it would be fun to make a little ladybug art project. So let's talk about what you guys need for today. Just a piece of plain white paper, some watercolors, paintbrush, and a cup of water and then a black marker. Okay, so I'm gonna draw it up here and then when I go to paint, I'm probably gonna set it flat on the table because it's a lot easier to paint on the flat surface. All right, so here we go. Just go up a little bit and remember you want your paper to go up and down like a tall building, not a short building, tall building. All right, so we're gonna have a tall building paper and come up just a little bit up from the bottom and I want you to start a little bit from each edge and you're just gonna kind of draw a straight line like this. Okay, that's gonna be at the bottom. Then we're gonna come to one edge and we gotta do a great big half oval. Remember, an oval is like a circle that got stretched out. So we're just drawing half a one. So I'm gonna start here and you're just gonna kinda come way up, curve and touch the bottom right here. Okay, so then we're gonna add, we're gonna come to the inside. And we're gonna add another little half oval to the inside like this. So we're gonna start here and go like this. Okay, kind of looks like an igloo, doesn't it? I don't know. You're wondering if it's really gonna be a ladybug. Well, we are gonna add a detail that hopefully makes it look a little more like a ladybug. We're gonna give it six little legs down at the bottom. So you can draw your legs kind of any way you want, but an easy way is to just kind of go down and off like this. There's one, two, three, and then my tree on this side, my feet are gonna be pointing that way. One, two, three. There we go. All right, the next thing we're gonna add is we're gonna put some little antennas up on top of that ladybug's head. So we're gonna kinda come and circle around like this, and circle around like this. Looking a little bit more like a ladybug, you think? Maybe, I don't know. All right, let's add another detail. We're gonna draw some big ovals for eyes. And these don't have to be anything perfect. Your eyes, maybe you want them both to be looking in or maybe you want to be looking down one up, one down, I don't know. But mine are just gonna kinda go like this. Circle inside there. And a circle inside there. There we go. <laughs> My ladybugs. Looks a little, a little grumpy or something, huh? We want him to look happy, so we're gonna give him a great big smile like this. And then some little rosy cheeks, and we'll add some little pink color later on. We'll give him some rosy cheeks like that. Is there anything our ladybug might be missing? Oh, I hear you saying spots. You got it, good job. So we're gonna add some spots to our ladybug. So you can kind of add your spots kind of on the sides like this. Maybe you wanna add a little spot right here. Oh, I bet I could put a spot up at the top like this. Oh, maybe I could fit one more here. Yeah, oh, like so. Okay, so here's our little ladybug. I'm gonna go ahead and move him down because next we're gonna be painting our ladybug. So I'm gonna start out painting my ladybug's face and just for some color, I think I'm gonna paint my ladybug's face. Ooh, maybe kind of this orangish yellow right here. And I'm gonna start with that color first just cause it's a lighter color. And I'm just gonna go inside right here and I'm not gonna paint where those little cheek lines are because we're gonna paint those pink and I'm not gonna paint inside his eyes because we're gonna leave those white. So try your best to kind of stay in your lines and do your painting here. I need a little more water on it. Okay, let's see. Whoops, see, that's Harbert's just seeing a reflection. There we go. All right, so try to kind of stay in your lines like so. A little bit more. All right, almost done with his face here. Next, on our ladybug's little cheeks, we're going to make those kind of Pink. So I'm gonna make sure I rinse my brush out real good. And 
get rid of that yellow. And I'm gonna pick that pink right here. Well, it looks kind of pinkish to me. And we're gonna come in and do a little bit of eh, pinkish, orangish color right here. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, looking good. All right, rinse your brush out again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do red for my ladybug's body. So I'm gonna add some red on there and get to painting all this red here. Try to paint a little bit faster so you guys don't have to take too long watching all this hard work paint. I wonder if you guys have seen any ladybugs when you've been outside. Hopefully you've been enjoying this beautiful weather we've been having. All right. Add some red in there. These are kind of different colors. They're not quite as bright as the normal watercolor I'm used to. That's all right, it's looking good. So try to kind of stay out of where we're gonna be painting those ladybug spots. A little bit more here. There we go. We're getting there, huh? There we are. All right, well, we gotta do just a tiny bit more red here. Let's see. Calm down on this side. Try to keep it out of your ladybug's face there. And on this side. There we go. A little bit more red here. Let's see, a tiny bit more on this side. There we go. All right, we're done with our ladybug's body. All right, what's a good color for ladybug spots? Black, you say? Yes, I would agree. Let's get some black on those spots in here. This is kind of more grayish looking, but eh, that's all right. All right, get some black in our spots. There we go. A little bit more paint. Sorry, I'm twisting my paper all around, aren't I? Kind of forgot anyone was even, even watching. Because Herbert likes to paint and color. It's very relaxing, isn't it? Okay, so we got our spots. Oh, wait, I see one more spot. Let's see. We need some black on this one too. Okay, and then just to give it kind of a little bit more of a pop, we could add some background color too. So it kind of stands out a little bit more. So maybe your ladybug is going to be standing on some green grass. So just get some green and kind of just go like this along the bottom. You can paint right over those legs too because you put them in marker. So hopefully they should be just fine. So we'll do some green grass along the bottom. And then, kind of get our grass going up like this. There we go. And then maybe you want to add some blue sky for the background. Ooh, I'm gonna go with this blue. Looks kind of bright. Let's see, ooh, yeah, there we go. I like that blue, that's pretty. And now you can kind of just smear it on. Try to stay out of your ladybugs body so we don't mix all our colors up. Maybe you could even add like a sun up at the top or some other kind of fun detail you might want to add. There we go. Almost there. Let's smear that in a little bit more. Okay, come to this side. Getting that blue sky in the background. 
Mr. Herbert's arm might be getting tired of recording. <laughs> All right, should I keep painting Mr. Herbert? Just adding some more details. <laughs> All right, almost there. Oh, beautiful. Okay. There we go. All right, sweet peas. Well, there is our little ladybug masterpiece. Hopefully you guys had fun drawing this. All right, don't forget, be a friendly, happy ladybug, not the grouchy ladybug. All right, stay safe, stay healthy, give mom and dad a hug. We love you guys.